Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a good old fashioned Primark haul and I recently went to Edinburgh, um, I'm not sure if you guys follow me on Snapchat or Twitter, if you don't then you should. But yeah, I recently went to an Edinburgh for a meetup, it was amazing and while I was there I did actually stay for like the whole weekend so I stayed from Thursday to Sunday, me and Sam went down together and kind of like made a weekend of it which was so nice and on the Saturday I did get to do a little bit of shopping so I went into the Primark which was flipping huge to the point where I couldn't even really be bothered to walk all the way around it so I didn't actually get that much stuff but you guys on Twitter said that you still wanted a haul anyway so that's what I'm going to do today but before I get started I just want to quickly mention the jumper that I'm wearing right now because I'm sure I will get questions oh my god look how wide the sleeves are it is the most oversized jumper like literally look at the size of this thing um, and it's a cropped jumper that says Lamar Lamar Cardinals, Texas. Basically, this is like a vintage jumper. Uh, it is cropped. This is the jumper that I did wear to my meetup in Edinburgh and basically the story behind this is uh, when I was packing for Edinburgh, I didn't have any jeans to pack because all of my skinny jeans have gone really, really baggy. Um, so I knew that I needed to get a new pair and my plan was to get some on the Thursday evening when I arrived in Edinburgh, which was the day before my meetup. But, um, we didn't get a chance to go down because by the time we got to the hotel it was so dark and we've been travelling all day, we were like, you know what, we'll just do it in the morning. So the next day I went to Topshop to try and get some skinny jeans because all I had with me was like a pair of mum jeans, which I do love but they're not the most flattering with like, I don't know, like baggy stuff on top and that's all I'd brought with me. So, um, we went into Topshop like half an hour before the meetup. I tried on five pairs of skinny jeans, none of them fit. So I was like, well, the jumpers that I brought with me don't go with my mum jeans. So I needed to get like some kind of cropped jumper to go with it. Um, and I ended up getting this one. It was 28 pounds. It was from Topshop's like vintage section. So I'm pretty sure it's like a one-off, but they did have a bunch of other like oversized sweatshirts there. Um, and yeah, it was quite pricey, but I was like, you know what? I couldn't find anything else. I love the look of this. Put it on with my mum jeans, I changed in the Costa toilets and went on to the meetup. I was wearing my baggy mum jeans and this super baggy jumper, but you know what, I kind of loved the outfit. And then the next day I did actually go back to Topshop and I got a pair of their Jamie jeans, um, but it's kind of annoying because I need like the next size up, but Topshop don't make a size in between. Like they do a 26 and a 28, but they don't do a 27 and I feel like that's what I need. So these are a tiny bit small. Also, I'm five foot two and I normally get waist, uh, sorry, I normally get length 28 in my jeans. I got length 30, but even these are like too short for me, I've realized now that I've taken them home. So I don't know what is going on with Topshop's Jamie jeans, but uh, I got a pair of these. Um, so moving on to the stuff that I actually got in Primark. The first thing I got is this jumper, which I absolutely love, but I'm so gutted about because when I tried it on, it makes me look like a friggin' mushroom or something. <laughs> Um, it looks like this, it's just navy blue and burgundy um, kind of tartan print or checkered print, whatever you want to call it. And it's super cosy, it's longer at the back than it is at the front, but I don't really know if you can see, it's really really wide. And then the sides of it, okay let me put it on my head just to balance it here, the sides of it kind of go out like this, so when you actually put it on, I don't know, I feel like it just makes me look like a mushroom. So. I might go and like exchange this for the size down, but the uh, extra small looked really, really small. Like the arms looked really tight. Um, and it is really, really soft and cozy and everything. And I think this would be gorgeous if it was just like a normal straight cut jumper or something. It's just the bottom of it. Like it's just a really odd shape. I hope you can see that on camera. Um, it just kind of hangs really funny on me and it makes it kind of like goes in and then the bottom of it just kind of sits like this and it just, it's not a flattering jumper, let's just say that. Um, it doesn't give you curves in the right places, it gives you curves in the wrong places. So um, this jumper was 10, no, it was 13 pounds. Um, I got it in a size small and yeah, it is nice. I like the print and everything very soft but I think that is gonna have to go back for a smaller size the next clothing item I got I am absolutely in love with and you guys re might remember from a couple of Primark calls back I think it was like around the summertime I got a jacket which was the same as this but in a different color this is a biker style jacket this was 25 pounds and it's in this really gorgeous uh, kind of light 
brown sort of tan color and I just oh my god I am obsessed with this it feels like such nice quality it has some zips on either side which I think are actual pockets let's let's have a look yes they are indeed actual pockets which I really like um, it has these kind of like button up details on the shoulder which to be honest I don't really like because I feel like it makes my shoulders look really big um, so I just like unbuttoned those and let them like hang down the sides but I love this jacket so so much it feels so thick and good quality I don't know if you can see on camera but it's made of this kind of weird I don't know the inside of it feels like a wetsuit like I don't know, it's a very strange material, um, but obviously it's faux suede, and yeah, this was £25, like I said already, but the one that I bought in the summertime is a more kind of grey slash khaki colour, I've honestly never worn it because it's way too big for me, I bought the one um, last time out of desperation because they only had a size 8 left, but for some reason I find that uh, Primark's leather jacket style, well, they're kind of you know, the jackets that are structured like this, I find come up really big. So my other leather jacket from Primark is a size 4. And I actually got this one in a size 4. But there's no way, like, if you're a size 4, this would swamp you. Um, because I'm probably more of, like, a 6 to 8. But, yeah. I managed to find it in the smallest size. And it actually works really well. The next thing I got in Primark, I feel like this haul is quite a good one. Because I've picked a few, like, select pieces, which I really, really like. Um, the next thing I got is this bag, which I think is absolutely stunning. I think I've seen this on their Instagram or something. Or, like, on Twitter. Um... Oh my god, I don't really think the, the like colour of it is picking up on camera, but it's basically a navy blue velvet bag, and I love velvet in the autumn winter time, and I just think this bag looks so much more expensive than it is. This was £7. Like, £7 for this gorgeous little bag, and I just think it will make any outfit look a lot more like classy, um, it's just like got a little well there's not actually that much room in here there is a tiny little zip pocket in the inside as well which you could put like a few coins or something um and then it just does up with a magnet it looks like <coughs> something that's stuck in my throat it looks like it's one of those twisty things but it's actually just like a proper magnet thing you can like tuck the gold chain inside and then have the handle like a bit shorter or you can like pull it all the way through which is what I do and wear it as like a crossbody or a shoulder bag the next thing I got is super autumnal as well this is a mustard coloured hat I'm not sure if you guys have been following my Instagram but if you have then you will see that um I've kind of been loving this sort of colour like my theme for a while was kind of like yellow and orange and I just love this like mustard yellowy orange colour I think it is gorgeous this one has got a little furry like faux fur pom pom and this hat was two pounds like you can't really go wrong I'm gonna put it on my head which I'm probably gonna regret because it's gonna mess up my hair but um it's just so cute I love like beanie bobble hats in the winter um, because I get cold really easily and I just think like you know if your hair's greasy in the winter and you want to cover it up then just stick on a hat okay then the final thing that I got in Primark was a very unexpected find I got a pair of these So Sue Glam Lash Collection lashes and these say on them that they're exclusively designed for Primark by Suzanne Jackson um, I feel really bad, like, is she a blogger, is she a YouTuber or something, is she a celebrity? I'm not sure who that is, and I feel really bad if, like, I should know who that is. Um, but yeah, they, they had a whole range of these So Sue lashes, and, um, Anastasia, um, if you guys know Floral Princess on YouTube, the last time I saw her, she had the most amazing lashes on, and I was like, Anna, what lashes are you wearing? And she said that they were the So Sue lashes from Primark, so I got the Style Milan because they looked, like, amazing. They looked gorgeous. Uh, they were five pounds, so they were a bit more pricey um, than Primark's other lashes, which I think are a pound or two pounds. But um, yeah, they are reusable, and these type of lashes tend to last quite a while. But these just look stunning. They look like uh, mink lashes, but obviously they're not mink lashes, so that is amazing. I'm just going to give you guys a close up. Like, how stunning are these lashes? They just look so nice. Oh, by the way, if you want a makeup tutorial on this look, um, it is coming very soon. So that is everything that I bought in Primark. I actually did only get five things, which seems crazy for me, because normally when I go into Primark, I come out with, like, half the shop. But yeah, I did just get five things, but I love all of the five things that I did get. Um, I'm obsessed with them. I hope you guys like them too, and hopefully this gave you a little bit of inspiration for your autumn, autumn, for your autumnal shopping, um, and yeah. There's a couple of bits that are in Primark at the moment, so go check them out. Also, if you want to get your hands on that jacket that I was talking about, it will be on my Depop very soon, hopefully. I don't, I don't know. 
I might remember to do it soon. If I forget, please tweet me because I forget everything, as you guys probably know. So if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it so much if you would subscribe by pressing that little button down there. We are getting so close to 500,000 subscribers, which is like blows my freaking mind. I don't understand why you guys subscribe to me because, well, I don't know. You're just awesome, thank you. I would also love to know, <laughs> love to know. I would also love to know any of your like thoughts and opinions and comments in the comment section down below. I will try and reply to as many people as I can. And yeah, that is it from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.